Dear students, I welcome you all to this JW preparation series. In this playlist, you will find all the solution of the question paper 2024 that is 4th April 2024 morning shift as well as evening shift. Every question problem of the subject physics you will find here. We will solve one of the problem that came in this paper. Okay, the problem is if a rubber ball falls from a height h so this is a height okay so we have to underline h and it rebounds up to a height of h2 the percentage loss of the total energy we have to find out the percentage loss of the total energy of the initial system as well as the velocity of the ball we have to find out the velocity of the ball before it strikes the ground okay so we have to find two things here one is the energy conserved or how much energy is lost after the strike and we have to find out the velocity of the ball before it hits the ground or before it strikes the ground so let me solve this problem we have to use the concept of conservation of energy here as per the conservation of energy energy can neither be created nor destroyed it can be transformed from one form into another form so let me draw a figure for your understanding suppose this is a ball okay you are getting this this ball is falling to the ground so here we have the ground suppose this is the ground the ball hits the or strikes the ground here also we have the ball and after it hits it jumps back to half of the height so let me show you here it goes back and up to this height it comes back okay let me show you here let me zoom this part and explain you properly from here up to here this distance is small h in the question it is given after strikes back the distance from here up to here from ground to the half of the height h by 2 we have to find out how much energy is lost okay so let me number it so this is suppose position number one this is suppose position number two so here at this position number one let the energy be e1 at position number two let the energy be e2 that means position number two we have e2 amount of energy conserved in the bowl and at position one we have e1 amount of energy okay now let us find out the percentage loss of energy so how we'll find out let me show you here from here we can write percentage loss in energy so how we will calculate it so the formula is very easy from position one it is falling and at and it is coming to position e2 okay so we have to subtract e2 from e1 okay and we have to divide it by e1 why original position was at e1 that is original position energy was e1 okay and we have to multiply it with 100 why because we have to express it in percentage at position e1 how much will be the energy because see at position e1 the ball was at the rest why it was at rest from that point it was left and it came into the ground due to z or small z due to acceleration due to gravity or gravitational pull it comes to the ground okay so z at position one we have only the potential energy no kinetic energy is there so we can write potential energy is mg h at e2 also we have the potential energy because after coming to height h by 2 after returning or after striking the ground it comes back to position number 2 where the height is h by 2 therefore mgh divided by 2 okay at the second position we have this much amount of energy so from here we can write mgh minus mgh by 2 okay divided by e1 means mgh into 100 why 100 we have to calculate in percentage therefore we can write here it will be 50 percent because in the numerator it will come to be mgh by 2 and in the denominator it will be mgh so half multiplied by 100 okay so we'll be getting 50 percent so 
fifty percent of the energy total energy is lost. So the first part of the question we have answered. In the second part we have to find out the velocity. Okay. In the second part we have to find out the velocity of the ball before it strikes the ground. That means which position we have to see this position. Let me show you here at this position how much is the energy of the ball before hitting the ground means the height is now zero h equal to zero and we have to find out the amount of energy at this point so here we have to use one formula the equation of motion we have got various equation of motion that is v equal to u plus at s equal to ut plus half at square similarly we have a formula equation of motion so here we can write v square equal to u square plus twice a s so what is the meaning here v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity and a is so let me show you here a is your uh, acceleration and s is the distance traveled okay s here it will be equal to uh, small h why because from height h small h uh, it strikes the ground okay so let me put the values here so here we'll get v square equal to u square initial velocity was zero because at this point you can see initial velocity it was zero only the potential energy was there okay at position one initial velocity was zero so u value will be zero here we have to put zero value for u so zero square plus twice a s twice a s means two will remain as it is because it is a constant here a means acceleration acceleration means here in this case we have the gravitational acceleration that is denoted by small g and s s means is the it is the distance traveled so how much distance traveled from here up to here we have a distance of small h so here we can write twice the h so from here we can find out v square equal to twice g h and v is equal to root over twice g h okay so now we have to check the options in the given question so first answer is 50 percent loss second is twice g h root over twice g h so the correct answer is this one third option is the correct answer so let me write down here this third option is the correct answer so in the question you have to find like this you can use some shortcut so how you will uh, you will use the shortcut you have to imagine the scenario suppose at the maximum position when it again falls back its potential energy is only one okay kinetic energy will be zero kinetic energy usually we express in half mv square okay in this case also so we have only potential energy at the highest position that is height of h and uh, height of small h by 2 these are the potential energy so in this way you have to solve this question thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you